Hi, grade five. Just waiting one minute, um, one to two minutes for more of you to join. I think some of you think that the uh, break ends at 1035, like it used to. So um, we'll just wait two more minutes and then I'll take attendance at 1035. If someone can please send a message on the class group because there's only eight of us here. Miss, what is today's homework? Yes, dear, sorry, I was on mute. Um, so today's homework is the vocabulary sheet that I'm going to upload for you. All right, let's practice before your quiz. All right, two more joining. All right, just one more minute and we'll begin. Hi. Hi. I said hi. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take attendance now. Uh, Amr, are you there? Yes. Okay, Abdurrahman Ahmed. Abdurrahman Amgad. Yes. Abdurrahman al Tarahi. Here. Asir. Hamid. Mamdouh, are you there? Mamdouh. Mohanad. Here. Mustafa, Omar, Aday, Aday, are you there? Shuk, Salim, Miss, I am here. Miss, okay. Aday is okay. here. Okay. Yasin Hashem? Yeah. All right, Yasin Sadat? I'm always here. Yasin Dwayne? He Yusuf? Yusuf and Aqib, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Zain? Sorry, miss, my internet is not good. It's okay. Zain, are you there? Ziad? Aysel, 
Here. All right, Hamiba. Here. Okay, Hannah Halewa. Hannah Sultan. Kenzi. Malak. Here. Okay, Hannah. Malak. Norhen. Reem. And Sabine. Sabine, are you Here. there? Okay. Uh, All right, so yesterday we, yes? I just joined. Okay, so look, I wrote your name here. Thank you. I heard you. Okay. All right, guys. So um, today what we're going to do is, um, yeah, so yesterday, sorry, yesterday we uh, introduced a new lesson called Object Pronouns in Prepositional Phrases. Okay, we're just going to go over this quickly because um, there were only a few of you in class yesterday. So I'm going to go over the lesson again. Uh, for those of you who are online students, there's a brief uh, summary of the lesson on smart schools. Okay, if you have any questions after watching the video, please let me know. Um, everyone can see my screen, right? No. No. Not the screen screen. Uh, no, no. No, I can see it. Okay, sorry guys, there's always a delay. It's loading. Right. Okay, um, so um, we all know what a prepositional phrase is. Who can remind me what a prepositional phrase is? It's made up of two parts. What is a prepositional yeah. phrase, Isa? Uh, it begins with a preposition. Excellent, and? and? An object. All right, the object of the preposition, that's right. Um, but in yesterday's lesson, the object of the preposition is an object pronoun. Okay, so instead of saying, for example, my friends planned a surprise party for Sally, we can say my friends planned a surprise party for her. So her here is an object pronoun that is also the object of the um, preposition. Okay, and instead of using uh, a noun in a prepositional phrase, we can use a pronoun and this is how it becomes an object pronoun. Okay. The object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it, Miss. us, and them. Yes, are they? Page what? Page. This is what we completed in class yesterday, are they? Page 436. Yes. Okay. Um, so again, here are the object pronouns. Uh, anything else would be incorrect because these would be subject pronouns, right? So we cannot use I, we cannot use he, we cannot use uh, she as the uh, object pronoun in a prepositional phrase, right? And it says here also that some sentences have compound objects, for example, my mother and me, okay? And it says here to be sure that you have used pronouns correctly in a compound object, leave out the other object in the compound and check the pronoun alone. What does this mean? If I am uncertain, if it is correct to say my brother will ride with my mother and me, I can remove my mother and look at me alone. Okay, is me an object pronoun? Is this correct in the sentence? My brother will ride with me? Yes, it is. Okay, um, but if, for example, I wrote my brother will ride with my mother and I, okay, if I, if I want to make sure this is correct, I will remove my mother and Okay, and it will say, my, my uh, brother will ride with I. Is this correct? Or what type of pronoun is I? It's a subject pronoun. It's a subject pronoun. So it only goes at, so it must be the subject yeah. of the sentence, not the object. Okay, so this is how we know it is incorrect. But me here is correct. Okay. All right, those of you who are online students, are you following along so far? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Miss, right, and so, I put a different page. And what? An uh, iPad. So it's 432 at the bottom of the book. It's not the, you, you can't search 432. It's page 432. So you have to find, um, the pages are different. You have to go to 432 manually. All right, so let's look here. Name the prepositional phrase in each sentence. Again, this is 
um, revision for those of you who um, were here yesterday. Kimberly made a coconut birthday cake for us. For us, here is our what prepositional phrase. Okay, it starts with the preposition for. Abdurrahman al-Tanahi, what is the um, object pronoun here? Us. Us. It's a very simple lesson. Okay. Uh, Yusuf uh, Naqib, number two, she has the best recipe for it. For it, here is our prepositional phrase. It is what the object pronoun. Okay. Um, okay. Yasina Sadat. Um, sorry, Yasina Duini. Yasina Sadat, you are physical. Uh, Marla gave lemonade to Sally and me. Here again, we have what, what we call a so compound yeah, object. Yeah. Right, Sally and me. All right, to Sally and me. Um, me is the object pronoun. Okay, and the preposition here that begins the prepositional phrase is to. Glenn will sing a birthday song to you. To you is our prepositional phrase, starts with the preposition to, and you is what our object pronoun. Shlok, are you following along? Sabine? Okay, uh, Mohanad, number five. Yeah. Um, do we write this in our notebook? There is uh, a video on Smart School that you guys can open. To um, there's a video on Smart School that you guys can open uh, in order to uh, look at the lesson that you missed. What? The number of the page. The page number. This is. Page 432. Okay. All right, and number five here, the birthday candles will be lit by him. All right, by him is the prepositional phrase. Um, by him is the prepositional phrase, starts with the preposition by, and him is the object of the preposition. Okay, here it is an object pronoun. Okay, is this clear, guys? It's just like the prepositional phrase lesson, except the object of the sentence is also a pronoun. Sorry, the object of the preposition is also a pronoun. Okay, is this clear, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to explain that because I received uh, messages about. Um, I received messages about this lesson, okay? Um, we were supposed to finish reading the uh, text in the reading writing workshop textbook. So we read one point of view, we're going to read the other point of view, okay? And if we have time, we're going to do some extra, um, some extra practice for this lesson, okay? Okay. All right, can everyone see this? Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next um, persuasive article. All right, the first one was called New Arrivals Welcome. So this person thinks that non-native species are uh, a good thing and they should be welcome, but this one calls it a growing problem, okay? This person's point of view is that thousands of foreign plant and animal species threaten our country. All right, uh, who would like to read the first paragraph? Raise your hand, please, on the screen if you would like to read. Nobody? Same people, raise your hands, guys, if you'd like to read. All right, Yasin Hashem, I haven't heard your voice today. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> visitors to Florida ever means expect to see alligators, not um, pythons. Python. These huge snakes are native to th uh, Southeast Asia. But about 150,000 of the reptiles are traveling through the Everglades 
the probable probable reason, probable reason they got there uh, is that it owners dumped the snakes in the wild. Now the non-natives python and python have become a widespread menace. menace. Um, Threatening? To reduce the Miss, we are not right something. All right, don't and don't interrupt. He's reading. Fin finish reading, uh, Yasin. The population of endangered native uh, species. Okay, so here this person thinks that these foreign uh, plant and animal species or these uh, the plant and animal species that come from outside of the country are harmful, they are a threat to the country. And the example given here is that people come to Florida to see alligators. Okay, so this is the, um, so this is an, an animal that is native to uh, Florida. So they come to see alligators, not pythons. What are pythons? They are huge snakes that um, are native to Southeast Asia, right? But 150,000 of them uh, are crawling through the Everglades, okay? And they're saying that um, somebody or pet owners dump them into the wild and they have spread like wildfire. They have become a widespread menace. What is a menace? A menace is um, a uh, something that is uh, a threat or uh, it causes danger, okay? And it here, it says here, threatening to reduce the population of the endangered native species. So are, so what is an enda endangered species? Yasina said that, what is, what does, what's an endangered species? An endangered species is prob uh, probably a species that's going to extinct. All right, so it's a species of um, animals or uh, plants that are at risk of being or are becoming extinct. Okay, so they are probably low in number and um, they are uh, possibly going to be extinct. Okay, so this is um, a big problem that these snakes are crawling through the Everglades. They have spread like crazy um, and um, they are possibly going to reduce the population of some endangered uh, native species. Okay. Um, who has not read? Uh, Zain, you read. Sabine, can you read the next paragraph? Just can I read? Who's saying can I read? Taha? Yes. Sure, Taha, you can read after her. Uh, you can read after uh, Sabine, yes. Go ahead. Some germs also among the things. No, here, we're here. Some non native species. Some not species may to be useful, but another are harmful. One of three seven billion each year. No, dear. I'm zooming so that you can see. Each year. Others are harmful to the nation. It costs the U.S. It costs the U.S. one hundred. Thirty-seven dollars bills each year to repay the darned seas respect cause to the environments that trouble occurs when the native specials become native species. Native species become in size invasive become invasive or uh using just about everywhere in the nation for example the all right so here wait before we move on so it says that the uh, trouble happens when these non-native species become invasive, all right? What does it mean when they become invasive? They um, start to harm 
other species. Okay, and this is the uh, main problem that most of these uh, foreign plant and animal species threaten the country because they become invasive. Okay, they become a widespread problem. Um, all right, thank you, Sabine. Uh, Abdurrahman, uh, can you continue reading? For example, Asian carp. Okay. Okay. Asian carp, <laughs> which was. No, sorry, Toha, not. Uh, did I say, uh, did I say Abdurrahman? You said Abdurrahman. I meant Toha. I said Abdurrahman only. No, Toha, I, I had called on Toha to read next. No problem. Asian crab, which was introduced, 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 yes, introduced, uh, until, until, unintentionally, to the USA has been able to, the, the, Thrive? Are you there or did I lose a uh, connection? Okay. Abdurrahman, are you there? Can you continue reading? Okay, Asian carp, which was introduced to, for example, Asian carp, which was introduced unintentionally to the US has been able to thrive in the Mississippi River and now threatens the Great Lakes ecosystem because of its large appetite, the population of the native fish has gone down. All right, so the, so um, unintentionally, the Asian carp, the type of fish was brought to the US and uh, in the Mississippi River, it has been very, successful and it is doing what it is eating. Um, it is. It has a very large appetite. So the population of the native fish has gone down, right? So they cannot find enough food, the native fish. And so they are, um, these fish are dying. Um, let's see, Amr Muhammad, can you read? This from some germs. Yes. Some germs are also in these species and they are especially harmful to humans. One, the avian influenza virus came to the US, US carried by birds. The, micro the microbe can cause a serious lung disorder in infected people. Okay, did you hear about the uh, bird flu, Amr Muhammad? Yes. All right, so the avian, um, the avian influenza is also known as the bird flu. Okay, it came to the US carried by birds. So this is a very strong point for this, um, for this writer. Okay, this is very convincing that uh, they are a problem and they are a threat. The biggest um, example is the uh, bird flu. Right, this and also the um, the problems that the bird flu can cause. So it says here that it can cause a serious lung disorder in people that are infected. Okay, um, thank you. Everybody who has their hand raised has read, I think. All right, Tanahi. I didn't. I didn't. Who didn't? You see, so that you didn't read. Yes, you did. No, I read the last session. Okay, everybody read the last session. Everybody with their hand raised. I'm trying just to find somebody who hasn't read. All right. Um, let me see. Yusuf, did you read? Did you read? No. Did you read last session? No, right? Go ahead. Okay. Visitors uh, to the Florida. So here we are at some agricultural experts. 
So we are all the way here, Yusuf. You're not paying attention. Mela, can you read? Yes, miss. Can you read, please? Where are we exactly? All right, listen, guys. We have been reading since the beginning of the session. Okay, we are, we started at the beginning. We are now at some agricultural experts. So all of this that we read and discussed, and you don't know where we are. This means that you guys are not paying attention. Mohanad, can you read, please? Some native species may be useful, but again, guys, this is not where we are. I have said to the last three people where we are. Shlok, can yes, you read, please? Yes, miss. Some agriculture experts have introduced experts? non experts, non activity species on purpose to improve the environment. However, this can sometimes create unexpected problems. A hundred years ago, manicured trees were brought to Florida from Australia to stabilize swim areas. Now millions of the tree blankets, the land crowding, crowding, out. crowding out native plants and harming endangered plants and animals. Okay, thank you. And uh, last paragraph. Are they? Yes, miss. Are you there? Okay, go ahead. Florida, um, some agriculture have intricate no native speeches on purpose. No, sorry, I was muted. We are on the last paragraph. I said, guys, last paragraph, last paragraph, last paragraph. Nobody's paying attention. Isil, can you read the last paragraph? Uh, miss, it was. Miss, it, it was. Uh, was what? I cannot see the last paragraph. I said screen. last paragraph, but I said last paragraph. I said last paragraph over and over. And also, when I called on you, it took you some time that... to answer. Me? Yes. Go ahead, Isil. Read the last paragraph. Pay attention, uh, Ode. The facts about this alien invasion led to one um, conclusion. We must remove invasive species and keep new ones from our soil. Okay. So let's look now on the um, last page. We have, this is the equivalent to a sidebar. Okay, it has some extra information. Uh, the non-native species benefits and costs. Over the years, about 50,000 non-native species have entered the US. These four examples show the positive and negative impacts they can have. So here the horse is native to Europe. It was introduced in the early 1500s on purpose. Um, the positive impact, it was positive impact, it was used for work, transportation, and recreation, but the negative impact is that it made large-scale wars possible. So people would um, People would use these horses in order to what? <clears throat> in order to start wars and in order, this was transportation for them. Okay, uh, the kudzu, this is a plant. Okay, uh, it is native to Asia. It was introduced in the early 1800s, also on purpose. The positive impact, it stops soil erosion, but the negative impact is that it crowds out native plants. Olives, which are native to the Middle East and Europe, were introduced in the early 1700s on purpose, but the cultivation began, so they, um, it started to be grown in uh, the 1800s. Positive impact, major food and cooking oil source. It is an important industry in California, but the negative impact is that most olives must be imported because they do not grow everywhere. And finally, the Mediterranean fruit fly, 
This is native to the sub-Saharan Africa. It was introduced in uh, 1929, or this is when it was first recorded, and this was an accident, okay? It was introduced as an accident. Um, positive impact, it's a, it may be a food source for creatures such as spiders, but it has a very negative impact that, of course, probably outweighs the positive impact. And the problem that it causes is it destroys 400 species of plants, including citrus and vegetable crops. Okay. All right, so uh, we read about the um, uses and the uh, harmful effects of the non-native species in the United States. Of course, this article was written about the United States, but this can apply to Egypt for sure. There are some um, non-native species that uh, we have here that have both positive and negative impacts. Okay, uh, so each uh, author told us the, uh, or gave us facts and evidence in order to support their claim. Okay, um, and this is what a persuasive article should do. A persuasive article should present facts and evidence in order to convince their reader to think like them. So here we have two opposing views. One believes that um, non-native species are a growing problem, and the other believes that they are um, are welcome and they should be, and we should encourage um, non-native species in um, in the environment, in the economy, that they have many positive points as well. Okay. Does anybody have a question about a persuasive article that we read today? Thank you, Miss. Any questions, guys? Thank you. Okay, so um, what we're going to do quickly, and we're going to just answer this uh, orally. Everyone can see my screen, right? No. 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 It's okay, loading. Just give it a minute. Yes. Yeah, I see. Okay, um, so we're going to just look at these quickly together. This is the reteach uh, practice book. Um, and I would have given this to you for homework, but today you have a vocabulary sheet. Okay, so here we're going to just answer them together orally uh, quickly. Write the prepositional phrase in each sentence, then write the object pronoun in the prepositional phrase. Uh, number one, here it's answered for us. Joseph and his sister had a surprise for us. The prepositional phrase is for us, begins with the preposition for, and the object pronoun is us. Number two, his sister showed the cards to me. Who can tell me the prepositional phrase and the um, object pronoun in this sentence? Raise your hand, guys, if you'd like to answer. I'm good. Uh, to me. All right, to me. And the uh, object pronoun is? Me. Me. Excellent. Number three. Oops, I'm showing you the answer. Uh, number three, all the cards were drawn by him. By him is the prepositional phrase. The object pronoun is him. Okay, number four, Tanahi. Yes. Number four. Okay. You're raising your hand, right? Yes, yes. The verses were written by her. By her, it's uh, the object pronoun is her. Object pronoun is her, and the prepositional phrase is? By her. By her. Okay. And number five, Ade? Yes, miss. The verses were written by her. Number five. Uh, by her. No, he answered that one. Number five. Uh, number five is not on screen, miss. Yes, it is. It's at the bottom. Just not answered. Yes, but uh, yes, now it's uh, beginning. Uh, each card had a beautiful and and two men leaves on it. Uh, on it. On it. Very good. And the object pronoun is it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anybody else like answer? Please raise your hands, guys. Okay, I'm at number six. Spelling the card was 
profitable for them. All right, for them. for them, very good. Object pronoun is? Them. Okay, thank you. Number seven, uh, Habiba? Yes, ma'am. With it, they would buy their grandmother a gift. With it. With it, very good. What is the um, pronoun? It, the object pronoun? pronoun? It. It. Okay, it. thank you. Zin? Yes, yes. I said to her, what a great plan. Miss? Yeah? I said to her, what a great plan. Okay, what is the prepositional phrase? Answer. Okay, miss, one second. Uh, to her? To her, that's right. And what is the object pronoun? Her. Her. Uh, yeah. Okay, number nine. Athena said it. We bought several cards from them. From them. From them, object pronoun is? Them. Okay, and number 10. Somebody who has not answered. Habiba, did you answer? I answered number seven. Okay. Um, so let me call on somebody else, everyone. Reem? Would you like to answer number 10? Okay. Can you answer number 10, Reem? Okay. One great thing was just sent me of you. Yes. Where is the prepositional phrase here? Uh, of you. Of you, excellent. And what is the uh, object pronoun? You. You, very good. Okay, guys, any questions? No. No? Okay, so check uh, Smart Schools today for your uh, vocabulary homework. This is, again, practice before your quiz. Um, there's going to be a vocabulary sheet today and a vocabulary sheet tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. It will be uploaded by the end of the school day. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, uh, please let me know. Send me a message anytime, okay? Okay, okay, bye. All right, bye, okay. guys. Miss? Yes? Uh, the next session will start at what time? It should start now. Okay, Miss, we have the homework, right? Can you hear me? I just said you have a vocabulary yeah. sheet today and a vocabulary sheet tomorrow. Okay, Miss. Okay, all right, bye. Bye.